Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the regular setting of the parliament of Western Armenia took place. Blinken and Lavrov discussed the issue of finding a long-term political solution to the Armenian-Azerbaijani conflict. 150,000 seedlings have been planted in Armenia in the framework of 10 million trees initiative. Pashinyan, 500 to 600 Azeri troops still illegally located on Armenian territory. Hayastan All Armenian Fund will renovate Caroline Cox Rehabilitation Center, Wonders of Western Armenia, the icy cave of Sasun. The National Gallery presented restored paintings of great Armenian painters. Interview with Turkologist Iran Lokmagyozyan. The regular setting of the Parliament of Western Armenia took place. The head of the Parliament, Leonardo Basmagyan, headed the sitting. A discussion was held on the What is Western Armenia online conference organized by the Council of Western Armenia in Argentina, Guillermo Karamanyan. Then the Parliament referred to the Javak issue, although the final clarifications will be given next week. Let us remind that the regular setting of the government of Western Armenia will take place today. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov have discussed ways of finding a long-term political solution to armenian azerbaijani conflict, the State Department said. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov met on the margins of the Arctic Council Ministerial. A representative of the U.S. State Department, Ned Price, reported. The Secretary noted that the United States sought a more stable and predictable relationship with Moscow. He underscored the imperative of ensuring humanitarian access for the people of Syria, while they also discussed regional issues, including finding a long-term political solution to the Armenian-Azerbaijani conflict. 156,000 trees have been planted in the chambers of the Forest Committee in the framework of 10 million trees international initiative. The acting chairman of the Forest Committee of the Ministry of Environment of the Republic of Armenia, Artur Petrosyan, reported via Arman Press. The 10 million trees environmental initiative started in 2020, but taking into account the epidemic as well as the September war, a decision was made to postpone the date to the end of 2021. A planting was organized and 156,600 trees were planted in April of this year, 10,000 of which were birches provided by the government of Lithuania. They were planted in the territory of Vanazor Forestry Chamber of Hayanzar Esencio, Petrosian mentioned. Hayanzar Esencio provided province administrations of Armenia and Yerevan with 161,480 planting materials. Around 200,000 planting materials are planned to be used in the fall of 2021. The operational situation in the areas of the border, which was breached by the Azerbaijani troops, remains unchanged, and the situation is still tense. Armenian caretaker Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said at a cabinet meeting. He said that approximately 500 to 600 Azerbaijani troops are still located on Armenia's sovereign territory in different parts. The rationale of our military's actions is the following. To restrict the Azerbaijani side's potential of taking actions through tactical actions. In terms of politics, our objective is the following. First, to not allow the situation to get out of control. That is, to do the utmost to rule out any scenario of a combat or a war clash. And second, to achieve the withdrawal of the Azerbaijani troops from Armenia's territory, he said. The Caroline Cox Rehabilitation Center is the only one of its kind in Artsakh. Founded in 1998, thanks to the generosity of former Deputy Speaker of the UK House of Lords, Baroness Caroline Cox, Hayastan All Armenia Fund reported via Artsakh Press. For the last 23 years, the center has been working intensely to ensure that people with disabilities are given the opportunity to integrate into society and live fulfilling, healthy and happy lives. The Caroline Cox Rehabilitation Center plays a strategically important role for the community. Taking into account the need for modernization of the center, the fund has provided expensive medical supplies and will undertake the renovation of the center. The snow that reaches 10 meters is melting due to warm weather and turning into icy caves with a height of 3 meters and level of 50 meters in Dabanak Plateau that is 2,500 meters above sea level in Sasun, Batman, Western Armenia. The tunnels created as a result of melted snow attract nature lovers and photographers. We recommend you to visit this wonderful place in Western Armenia in case you get an opportunity. The National Gallery of Armenia has restored canvases of famous painters of 20th century Gevork Bashinjagyan, Martiros Sadian and Hakob Kojoyan and presents them to a wide range of art lovers. 
As Armen Press reports, the opening ceremony of the exhibition took place at one of the exhibition halls of the gallery. The exhibition is directly related to the slogan of this year's International Museum Day, which is the future of museums to transfer and to reinterpret. We decided to touch upon the restoration and open an exhibition of the restored exhibits for the first time in the history of the gallery. The director of the gallery, Marina Hakopian, mentioned, According to Hakopian, the exhibition not only includes restored canvases, but also presents the complex recovery process, carried out before getting the final result. The works of Bashin Jahyan, Sayan and Gojoyan were restored in six months. A serious work has been done, thanks to which the works will decorate the halls of the gallery. On Western Armenia TV, Turkologist Tiran Lokmagyozyan spoke about the security issues of Armenia, especially about the situation is unique, analyzed Turkey's steps and the ones that can be expected in the future. He referred to possible reactions of CSTO and to possible ways to apply for the military assistance of China, India and Iran. The Turkologist concluded his speech predicting the upcoming events. The interview is available on our website and YouTube channel. Now I present you Amran Gisher by Karin Ensemble. version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.